Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm here with Friday night book haul again. So there wasn't a lot in the bins today, but I grabbed what I thought I might be able to salvage a few bits and pieces from. So firstly, I grabbed a stack of books just for the covers. I do have a heap here just for covers. Um, a lot of the time though, they're not really the size or the color I want. So um, I grabbed this one, which is Dining at the Pavilion. I did actually really like the dust cover, so I might be able to do something with that. But when I took that off, it's got this chandelier. I don't know if it's embossed, it's some more gold embossed or whatever. But it looks like it's in beautiful um, condition. It's a material cover, so I don't think you'd have to do much to that really to jazz it up a bit. So the pages are alright. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely picture. So I might have to go through and have a look, but the pages look nice to do stuff with as well. And then I grabbed a whole lot like this because I'm finding this size quite good. Because I'm pretty sure it's about this size where I can do my A4 folded, not have to cut them down. And they'll fit in there. I just have to cut the cover down just a little bit at the top, which is easy enough to do. So, so they're just um, whatever books, fiction books, bittersweet. That one is. This one is Hannibal Rising. <laughs> I haven't read that yet. Maybe I should give it a go. So, and of course I'll use the coloured papers that are in them. But they're good in good condition. I like this one because it's got a nice wide spine, it's about a two inch spine, so a nice big journal in that and green as well for nature journals. And then there were these Colleen McCulloch books that have this really nice sort of limeish green colour on them. Oh, purple on the inside, what's that one? Purple as well. So, there's some lovely covers there. And then I grabbed a lot of the the books that I didn't want but had the coloured pages at the front and back I grabbed out. That one I think I liked, the texture and the colour of that page. Grabbed some of the white ones because I can use them for journaling spots. So, so many different colours and they're so thick and nice to use as well. And then there are a couple of books that had these sort of flip out bits and I thought well you don't really have to do much with them do you to make a flip out for your journal or whatever. And they're nice and firm material. So there's some nice ones here. Some with maps. I can put in travel journals. There's another one. I thought this one had a flip out. Yeah it did cookery book that's got this sort of flip out so I'll be able to use that plus the red pages. So I've got the front and back of that one. And stacks of pages. Oh. Australia's New Day. Must be pretty old this one because I've never heard of a New Day magazine. 86. I was around then. But old enough. So I thought I'd grab it and have a look can be quite amusing. It's from a cooking book. Another one that had a flip out. And another one. And these came out of a book. I thought that was really cool. So that can go in a vintage Christmas journal. And these were just some loose sheets that were in a book. No idea what they're about or whether I'll keep them, but I'll have a look at them. I have no idea what this is. Someone's private something that I always get to read. It's terrible, isn't it? Oh, dear patient. Hang on. 1967. Oh, it's something about a doctor's address being changed.
There's something about a diet, a specific diet typed out. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, and some envelope that was in a book that I'll reuse. So yeah, stacks and stacks of nice coloured pages that I can use. Alright, now the books. There was this Helpful Hints for Housewives. 2012, it's got a date up there, but it's got some really cool pictures in it. It's glossy. So nice vintage retro pictures. So be able to make a journal just with this book pretty well. The Princess Royal Cookbook. I think everyone's seen this one. Um, just grabbed it because it was in the bin. And also, I like the size of the recipes to make journaling cards with. My first atlas. This looks pretty new. 96. I think I had a lot of little tiny animal pictures in that, which I thought were really cool to be able to fussy cut out and use. There were two flag books. So you can cut the flags out and use them. Oh, and some stars. Some paper stars that someone's cut out. And, I mean, you never know what's going to drop out. And another flag one. This one seems a bit older. This one's more matte, which is nice. Keep turning past the flag pages. But they're pretty cool. Make some nice ephemeral with those. There's this which is light and optics. Mechanics of particles, kinetic theory of matter, and mechan mechanics of solid sound and wave motion, electricity and magnetism and all that sort of stuff. I just thought I liked some of the um, images and that just for filler pages or collaging. Dog Owner's Handbook, a few little cute pictures of dogs. <laughs> so I'll just take the pictures out and put them in with the rest of my doggy pictures. Another dog book, this one's amusing. <laughs> doggy Butler. 1988 and it's got all these people bodies with doggy heads <laughs> not quite sure what I'll do with it but it's a bit too amusing to put in the rubbish <laughs> a year of watching wildlife Beautiful pictures of wildlife. Look at that. It's a pity it's in the middle of the page. Beautiful. Let's have a good look through that. A bit glossy and that heat. of these as well. I'm not sure what the other one is. Maybe I don't. I think it's the Flinders. So it's a lot of sketches of the Flinders Rangers in South Australia. Pure Gold of Spain. It's 
must be a cookbook. I don't know. It doesn't have a date. The colours on this got me in, actually. It's real retro 70s colours. Late 60s, early 70s. I always get sucked in by these cooking books. I think they make great cooking journals. The pages. Gardening guide, it looks like it came out of a magazine. Some nice coloured pictures in there. Make some journaling cards out of it. I love that one. Be your own vegetable garden expert magazine. It's quite old by the looks of things. Yeah, I love the colours and these ones as well. make a retro gardening journal sometime with a couple of 60s, 70s books that I have with the pictures in. This one's called Nuts and I really liked this page. It does have a few more illustrations just here and there. It's got a nice brown tinge to the pages and they're matte as well. I love these so I can cut them out and make tags or pages with them. There's Tilda's summer ideas. I do not get these dolls. They creep me out, sorry to say. But I know some people really love them. Look at that, that's pretty cool to use. Didn't even see those in there. Look, pockets. <laughs> oh, they're accessories, aren't they? And then it's got all your patterns. It's got a lot of pictures of the Tilda things as well that you make or whatever. And I thought maybe one day I might be tempted to make a Tilda journal or something for someone who might like the things. Very reluctantly. Uh, Reader's Digest Complete Book of the Garden. 73. I like this because it's matte and it's just got your green that I know of. It's just got these sort of green illustrations, which I quite like. Oh, it's hard to turn the pages. It's almost like the other Reader's Digest ones you get with similar pictures. They're just not coloured other than green and white. A lot of good pages to make some envelopes and stuff out of as well. Women's Day, all colour guide to house plants. Looks pretty retro. This is 77. I'm not sure how many good pictures I'll find that I want to use, but there's a few. I like the coloured ones. Some of them. I like that. What wildflower is that? Gifted in 78. Beautiful big flower there. So again, not the best because of how old it is, but there are some stunning pictures here and there that I can hunt out and use. Uh, 
Australia beyond any price. Just beautiful photographs of places and things in Australia. Very glossy, but I know a lot of people really like um, Australian themed journals. It's a nice one just to look at anyway. Sports and games in the ancient world. Some pictures in this look. Alright. Eighty-four. Again, it'll probably be interesting one to look at and read through. If I do an Egyptian themed journal, there's a few good pictures in here. The world of golf, I usually steer clear of your sport ones because they bore me to death, but this one has some really cool vintage golfing pictures and paintings and that, like that one, which I really liked. And I have found um, a few bits and pieces here and there to make like a golf themed journal sometime. Nice masculine thing. But yeah, it has these lovely pictures. <laughs> that one. Prehistoric, this one is huge. somewhere but there's too much to, oh 2009 oh my goodness and that's heavy I wish they wouldn't have arrows on everything it's a bit like all your anatomical books and they always have all your arrows which ruin all the pictures some of the pictures in this are cool though Probably use most of these for like glue book type things. That'd be cool to use. And another big one is oh, this one, and that's the Macquarie uh, Australia's own the Macquarie World Atlas. I love that page. Semi glossy. Ninety eight. And another one that's really heavy. Look at those. <laughs> I can make massive envelopes with them. I might have to I reckon that might take to the coffee and tea down alright. So I might give that a go. And look some lovely green pages too, that'd be nice. And then of course maps. pictures and other stuff and then I've kept I think this is my favorite till last I didn't buy any today I behaved myself because Carol and I bought some on um, Wednesday and I was busy working didn't have too much time to look around I did manage to check that there weren't any Edith Holden's I make sure I do that every week so this is film review. This is 1953 to 1954. That's, oh my goodness me, Zaza Gabor. At the Moulin Rouge. <laughs> That's fun. So yeah, really cool. Vintage pictures of famous people. Let's 
going to be fun to have a look at too. Doris Day. Ava Gardner. So isn't that cool? That's going to be a really good one to use sometime. So that is it for tonight's book haul. Um, I hope that you're all going to craft away a bit over the weekend. I definitely am. I've got my um, altered envelope challenge that I need to do for a group, which I have made a good start on, but I must get finished over the weekend. Move on with other stuff. So take care, have fun, and I will see you soon. Bye.